I, I would not uh, you know, dare to challenge the, the scholarship and the, and the deep uh, intellectual insight and, and, uh, and, and curiosity and, and um, know-how of, of Dr. Lightman. And I, and I genuinely, genuinely hope that uh, that premise, uh, his, his um, uh, thesis, if you will, uh, will indeed uh, bear out to be true. Uh, if ultimately anti-Semitism and uh, hatred of the other and uh, disdain toward uh, people of the Jewish faith is, is to be uh, eradicated, uh, we can, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, uh, to see us quibble about uh, what ultimately caused that, uh, that epiphany and that goodness in the world. But, but I'm also very much a, uh, a, a pragmatist and as, as, a, as a member of a, of a Jewish community in America and, and Jewish communities throughout the world, that uh, with the exception of the state of Israel, are minority populations uh, living, um, living amongst uh, majorities that are not Jewish, uh, we have to uh, engage with our neighbor. We have to find ways to create that, uh, that very connection on a human level with people who may uh, view us with suspicion because they don't know us, and that we have uh, we have to overcome uh, ignorance and and do what we can to to try to break through and to try to uh, pierce that veneer of fear and suspicion that often resides in the hearts of those who, uh, uh, knowing with, without illumination, without understanding, uh, revert to the um, the worst uh, uh, the worst angels of uh, or or or. or Steer from the steer away from the better angels of humanity and uh, default to uh, uh, to uglier uh, behavior of which we we well know through our history human beings are are, are most capable of of committing. Well, I I don't really understand what is happening here. We live among nations of the world for thousands of years. We know them, they know us. There is a, a huge trend of assimilation in America. Um, you know, except for the Orthodox, the truly Orthodox people, pretty much everyone is assimilated in terms of intermarriage and the openness of the culture and so on. And also, after that, we, we would say that we are hated because we are not known well enough. Anti-Semites know us very well. They can tell tell us things about ourselves, about our history, about our heritage that we, that we don't even know properly. So I don't really see how that's a reason for what's happening. The reason that I'm trying to, to bring out into the surface is that there is a general law of balance that is working in the human system. And that has to do with the dynamic of relationships between human beings. And this is something that modern science can also uh, show evidence to, that everything is increasing connections. And that is happening from level to level to level in the global world. And so there is some sort of an overarching globalization process that is happening. And in the midst of it, there is a group called the people of Israel. It's actually not a nation. It's a group of people that come from representatives of all the various tribes and clans and groups that existed in ancient Mesopotamia. And under the, that guidance and school of Abraham, so to speak, they were unified and connected as a group of all those different clans and tribes, etc., who came together to raise the level of human connection as an evolutionary process. And so that school of Abraham was about love thy friend as thyself. This is why Abraham is referred to as the first Jew or the father of the nation. What he did was bringing together representatives from all the various nations of the world that existed back then, and he brought them together as a group, and so that the people of Israel is not a biological group per se. It was founded by that school of Abraham as a connection, a mini model of this global connection between all those tribes and clans and groups that existed in ancient Mesopotamia, the, the Kingdom of Babylon. And so 
they came to a point of forming a new level of human connection. And so that group that was connected from so many different tribes and differences, etc., he called them Israel, from the words Yeshar Kel, which means straight into that direction of a higher level, meaning that through their connection, they would come to a point of connecting to a deeper force of nature, to that binding force of nature the unifying force of nature. And so that is what emerged. They evolved to a point where after they connected, they started scattering. They lost their connection. And that is what we commonly refer to as, as an exile. I, I don't want to go into a whole historical uh, detail here, of course. I, I just want to stress that the people of Israel is not a nation. It's a mini model of all the nations of the world. It's a connection between representatives of all the nations of the world. And therefore, when they scatter, when they are not connected, they scatter in all directions. They go and live among many different nations. And only when there is an external pressure, which is expressed and manifest through anti-Semitism, then they come together. So it's either they consciously realize they have to connect positively or not. And now we're coming to a point where the whole world, after many years of development, and again, this is something that you would find um, written in Kabbalah and in other sources. Um, of course, this is in, in, in my books and in, in other online references that, that I that I show. What it says is that now we're coming to a point, to an evolutionary stage that is a unique generation of development where this connection needs to happen on a global level. And so because the whole world essentially is those that collection of the nations of the world that we are a result from, from that connection. If we connect, then the nations of the world begin to come together, to come closer as well. And if we don't do it, then they can't do it also. I I'm talking about laws of nature. There is an evolutionary pressure towards connection. That is how nature works in us, on everyone. Now, the people of Israel, as it turns out, are to blame for the whole of humanity not moving fast enough towards connection. And that's why anti-Semitism once again surfaces and rises, this deep-seated hatred towards the people of Israel from the nations of the world. And the claim is that somehow we cause troubles, somehow we bring troubles to the world. They don't know exactly how, why, there is some instinctive, unconscious sense that their bad feeling, their troubles come from that group of Israel called Israel. It's an internal, deep-seated demand that exists even in nations that we were never connected with. Uh, Vietnam and, and the Far East and and so on. As they develop, they suddenly feel hatred towards Israel. Why? They don't even know why. But it's a part of their evolutionary process because everyone is evolving towards that global connection and that's why that hatred towards Israel surfaces.